So you're thinking about moving to Livingston, New Jersey, but you really don't know the place. You haven't been here yet. You're trying to decide if it's worth a visit. So in today's tour, you're in luck because we're gonna tour around the town and show you what's here, show you what has to offer and help you make the decision of where you're looking to be. If you're thinking about moving to the suburbs of New York City, you're gonna wanna watch this tour and get to know Livingston, New Jersey. Hey, if this is your first visit to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about the Midtown Direct Suburbs of New York City, then subscribe below and tap the notification bell so you can be the first to hear about the current market conditions here in New Jersey and New York. Hey, I'm Jeff Massey. The team and I, we get calls every day from people just like you. We're thinking about moving to one of New York City's amazing suburbs, and we love it. So whether you're moving in seven days or seven months, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email so we can help you make an easy, stress-free move to the New York City area. So as I said at the top, we're here in Livingston, New Jersey. We're actually situated right now in Livingston Town Center, which is a really nice shopping area. Um, there's also some uh, townhouses in, in behind this area, but the, you've got the nice clock tower behind me. Um, there's plenty of things to do here, like going to the gym, uh, going out to eat. You've got banks, you've got um, barber shops, you've got clothing stores and lots of nice stuff like pizza, um, even the dentist. This is a cute little area you're gonna to wanna to check out if you're in the area to do a tour. So the Livingston Town Center is just at the intersection of Mount Pleasant Avenue and Livingston Avenue. And it makes up sort of one out of two kind of downtown areas, the other being right at Northfield Ave and South Livingston Avenue. Now you also have a lot of shopping up and down Livingston Avenue, um, things like the King Supermarket, ShopRite. Um, you also have for groceries, there's also Route 10 District, which has lots of different big box stores, but you do have the um, Aldi over there that just opened up. And um, the other shopping area you have is more for like your sort of um, clothing shopping, bigger stores. You've got the Livingston Mall sort of in the southwest corner of the town. But that gives you an idea of what's here in terms of like your living essentials, uh, shopping, restaurants. Got a nice chocolate store, which is one of my favorites. Um, there's also little shopping centers across the street from the, the town center. So this area has a lot to, to do. Uh, and it's certainly on your day to day, you're gonna be jumping in and jumping out of stores. But let's go explore a little bit more so you can get to know the schools and the town. So as you know, we're here in Livingston Township, New Jersey today. This is Essex County and we're standing in front of the town hall right behind me and you also have the public library and this is Livingston High School right down here. Now, Livingston was incorporated in 1831 and there's currently just under 32,000 people. Um, if I haven't said, we're in Essex County. It's Overall, it's about 14 square miles so that works out to a density of about 2,200 per square mile. Um, and if you didn't know, the town was named for the first governor of New Jersey and interestingly enough it's home to the cooperman barnabas medical center it used to be called saint barnabas actually i'm proud to say my son was just born there two months ago almost to the day so that's exciting for us it's our second son um, so that was really cool so just thought i'd share that in the video if we're looking at because we're standing in front of the schools uh, I decided I'm not going to share the school scores on the video anymore. If you'd like to check that out, go to niche.com and see how it's rated. If that works for you and your family, definitely check that out. I can say they are very well rated, but I'm not going to give the exact score. Uh, in the town, you have six elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school. You also have a number of private schools in the area, including the Newark Academy, which is also well rated. So this is your kind of central downtown area. You've got these really nice big sports fields behind me. Uh, there's even more playgrounds behind the high school. There's another pool over there and um, kids play area. So lots of cool stuff to do in Livingston. And today we're gonna continue on the tour and show you a little bit more of the town. So you're probably interested to know a little bit more about what it's like to live in Livingston. And what I would say is really nice about the town is it's not like these gridded um, blocks of streets. You'll see as you're driving through, there's a lot of these kind of curving sort of rolling streets. And the other thing that's cool about that is in between those, you've got some really nice parks. Uh, right now I'm in Northland Park and right behind us is the uh, swimming facility. This is the, one of the community pools. There's another one over by the high school as well. 
Um, you've got the pool here. Right across the street behind me, you've got some tennis courts. And then behind that, you've got softball. Over here, you've got some basketball courts. So there's a few other little parks around the town. There's also a really nice uh, park called Riker Hill Park. That's the art park. And they've got a few sculpture gardens there. A little bit of an overlook, it's on a tall hill. And what's really interesting about that location is it's run by Essex County uh, Parks Department, but they have artists in residence buildings. So there's like five or six buildings there and you can um, rent a studio if you're an artist and do some work there. Um, that's my understanding at least. So definitely some cool parks to check out as you're going through the town. Now I saved the best for last in, part, in terms of recreation because I think this is really neat. I'd like to check it out myself. Um, right over the hill from here there is a cricket field and that's run by a private club I believe. So you'd probably have to check out and see if you can get in, but I'm sure there's membership options. But that'd be really cool to play cricket. I actually used to live in London where cricket's huge. Um, unfortunately, I'm really sad that we never actually went to see a game, but that would have been cool to see. So you can do that actually in Livingston, New Jersey, of all places. But this is where we are, Northland Park, and lots of cool stuff to check out here. But we're gonna continue on the tour to go talk about some real estate. So we're talking about real estate here in Livingston. Uh, there's been about uh, 429 sales in the last 12 months. Now this is February 2023, so it went back from that date. I'm going back. It's not full year 2022. Um, average days on market was 29 days. And if we look at the average sold price by property type, uh, two beds went for 516, three beds went for 654, uh, four beds went for 911. Uh, and five plus one for 1.5 million. A couple recently sold interesting properties um, that give you an idea of what prices are in the area. And I'll drive by these so you can see the, the outside. Um, we had nine Fairfax that listed for 590,000 and sold right at asking. That was one day on market. Uh, it was a four bed, two and a half bath on just about a quarter of an acre. It was from 1951 renovated in 2007 it was a Cape Cod style. We also had 17 Congressional Parkway that was a six bed five bath sold for 1,025,000 also just about a quarter of an acre colonial style there. I think that was new construction and then the last one was 39 Park Drive that was also a six bed five and a half bath. This was a very nice uh, place listed for 1649 sold for 1640 it was on the market for 51 days more of a contemporary sell and also a quarter of an acre so it was a 2022 build so hopefully that gives you an idea of pricing in the area if you're interested in getting uh, on a private tour we'd love to set one up for you get in touch with us with our calendar link so we can start off on a video chat get to more get to know more about your search and then we can always set up a private home tour. If you've done a little bit of research on Livingston and this isn't your first exposure to it, you're gonna know that there isn't a train station here in Livingston. However, you do have the buses, which run direct all the way to Port Authority. Now, there's two locations that the buses pick up from, and one of them is just over the road from me. I'm standing in front of the Shake Shack, the new Aldi that I was telling you about, container store, and just up the road over there, you've got the um, Mount Pleasant and Harvest Lane bus stop. That's gonna get you into the city in one hour and 44 minutes. Uh, you've also got a second option that's a little bit faster that's down by the Livingston Mall. That's gonna get you into the Penn Station, well, I'm sorry, that's gonna get you into Port Authority in about an hour and 30 minutes. Now, those are the bus options. If you wanted to get in your car and drive, you could always go over to South Orange or Orange, depending on which one's closer to you and park there and get on the train. Those commutes are gonna be like 35 minutes from over there. So if you're more familiar with the train and you need to get into closer to Penn Station rather than 42nd Street Port Authority, that might be a better option for you. That's gonna do it for us here in Livingston Township, New Jersey. If you found it helpful, definitely smash that like button. It really helps us. Also put a comment down if you really enjoyed anything or you have any questions or comments. And if you think it might help someone that you know, definitely share this video and spread the word about Livingston. Now, if you're interested in checking out a new construction home that I just recorded a film on, click here. I'm gonna link it right after this. We'll see you over there.